The spiders had started to form on the ceiling in my front room. Large green ones that moved at the speed of light. Just one at first, but others soon followed, and they did not fear the hand of man. I stepped out with a new lease on life, as if I'd been reborn, and the world with me. Like a child with a new toy, I couldn't wait to explore all the possibilities. I quickened my pace so I could cram all the wonderment I would be allowed to on this trip. Darkness consumed the light like some flesh-eating virus. I passed the giant as he slept, almost dead, but still keeping an eye on this Gotham. Liquid fire ate at my feet, yet no pain did I feel, for I was a colossus. I walked, no strode the empty road. For I was invincible. The bullets that flew past my head seemed to be adhering to a time and motion study. To be lost in boy's town was as sensible as stepping into the water when the crocodile beckoned. Chaz told me once, I am the bullet. The king gave me an audience, complete with 77 comeback special jumpsuit. He didn't say much. Just wiggled his hips and pointed further out into the distance. The further I progressed, the further I took this ride, the easier lies seemed to roll off my tongue. Given enough time and private space, I could convince people I was the Pope. My actions defied answer. On this journey, there was no question I didn't have an answer for. I was, in fact, a vessel of knowledge and could converse with anyone and everyone. Quantum physics, nuclear fusion, the space-time continuum, all would fall from my mouth at light speed. I would be revered, looked on with great awe, for I was an oracle on legs and would take any who dared to follow. In the distance, thunder could be heard. Thor was pissed off smacking the world around like some deranged golfer. I never gave it a second thought. If I don't fear death, then I'm indestructible. I once hated Mr. and Mrs. Daniels for having a son called Jack, but lately I've enjoyed his company more and more with the passing of time. Sentimentality or old age. I felt my body start to slow down. The heartbeat of a rumba had turned into a polka. I bit my grip and bore down through the pain. The blood tore through my veins. My heart was about to make a personal appearance for all and sundry. I wanted to take this whole world and shake it to its foundations. I wanted to start a fire and burn this whole place down. The flame so high that God could not ignore me. I crept into the darkness of my soul. I hung around for quite some time, just trying to figure it all out. But all that came back was silence. I'd been courteous, polite and obedient, but nothing new was shown to me. I fucked a whore in Mombasa and ate fried noodles off her breasts as she slept. I sweated with a fat man as we drove through the desert in an open top car, played dice with the world's unluckiest man and lost snake eyes. Dined with greedy men who attacked fat meat with their fat fingers, talked about their fat wives and their thin girlfriends. 
and what masses their bank accounts hold. I carried my brother as a wooden reminder to all. Families are a curse, a millstone through life. for strength, but the devil continues to buy me drinks.